Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in and rocking with your girl today. So today I've teamed up with Wiggins Hair and I've brought you this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous curly wig. Now it's giving long bob. It's a beautiful taper to it. You guys can kind of see how soft the curls are. So it just gives like a natural vibe. And then the hairline, this is a frontal wig, but we did go with some really, really like soft micro baby hair just to give it a little oomph. And I love, love, love how beautiful the lace is. We did not have to like pluck or tweeze or customize the lace on this one. Literally it was an easy install, but I'm gonna go ahead and share the tea. You guys can go ahead and follow along as I install also subscribe if you haven't already like this video let me know what you think about it of course the wig is linked directly in the description box without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial okay ladies jumping right into it this is the inside construction of the cap we are working with a 16 inch 250 percent density curly lace wig she has a 13 by 4 lace front dimension and of course it's a free part here i am trying her on for a size and you guys already know it came with an elastic band for a little extra support here's a close-up of the hairline as you guys can see they did pre-plug this one pretty good so i don't think we need to do any customizations also i wanted to give you an example of what i mean by free part you can part it on the sides and it doesn't cut you off you get your full amount of lace from ear to ear so step one for me is just going to be to pull my sideburns back they've been growing in pretty full lately in my opinion so i do need to go ahead and use edge control to slick them back so they don't get cut or just be in the way in the process of bonding this wig down now i'm going to go ahead and customize by cutting any excess lace off around the ear you guys already know a wig typically will cover your ear and you're supposed to cut it down so that it fits and hugs your ear to perfection once i did both sides the left side my left side i did off camera i did go ahead and tint my lace on my wig cap so that it just kind of gives a more flawless finish once we are already installed now I went ahead and cut off all of the excess lace and we're going to bond her down using that even product. Now this still counts as a glueless install and I say that because it's not bonded down with a thick heavy glue. Um, I do bond down up in front of my headline, hairline but if you have a shorter or smaller hairline it is less likely to damage your hairline the way a real strong heavy glue would do also i love the fact that if i'm one i can secure it at night and i can wear it for a day or two but if i do want to take my wig off at night just the slightest bit of water will help it to lift that way i can take it off at night and it doesn't leave nearly as much residue as a actual glue will you'll have a little product on there but it doesn't have that heavy like residue that you have to peel off so you can re rebind it down that next day now that the wig is bonded down and we did blow dry on a cool setting, I'm going to go in with the Dynamic Duo, which is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. These two items come from my line, vdecbeauty.com, and they are linked in the description box. And here I am just taking my time to really press out the hairline. And you guys can see how great of a job I did. I did go ahead and section off some micro baby hair, which is all of like a few sparse strands of hair. I cut it down super short, maybe like half to a quarter inch long i applied my edge control of choice and kind of just swooped them you can see the difference between left and right and then i did the left side off camera um you don't have to do this step but i just like it to kind of conceal um or camouflage that line of demarcation that separates my hairline from the actual start of the lace i think it does a great job without being an overpowering amount of baby hair then I went ahead and saturated the hair with a little water and then I'm adding this product. Now this is a new product to me. You guys know I'm no stranger to the Cantu line, um, but they do have a mousse and I've never tried a mousse from them before, I don't think. So I went ahead and picked this up from my local Target. I'll see if I can find it online and link it for you guys. It definitely is a lightweight mousse. It doesn't weigh the hair down. It's not like the Nairobi and again it's a lot more lightweight in my opinion so I applied a light amount I didn't want to weigh the hair down too much and then I went ahead and used the dimming bar dim and brush i'm so sorry to um define the curls and i love the way that worked out now i'm going to go ahead and tint the lace for my final step and you guys know i love a good concealer in the parting as well as a powder in the hairline but today i did use that maybelline foundation and it's a liquid instead and it came out perfect 
Okay, ladies, so we are done with the look, and I love it. Now, the first thing I noticed about this one was, like, the beautiful, like, tapered cut. I think it adds something special to this one because it's not... They could have easily just made it all so that it, like, all comes here. And it would not have gave such a beautiful, uh, natural look to it also the cut like definitely frames my face i love the hairline on this one as you guys can see it's super natural i didn't um add any product there so i gotta go back and add but it just looks so good i did do my like micro baby hair you guys know i feel like i'll be having half something there so i just did some very 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 micro baby hair also i'm noticing how soft the hair is I really didn't want to go in and do the wet look but I just wanted to see what happens when we wet the hair this one came from Wiggins um, and it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig and it is 16 inches in length this is the packaging here I'm gonna cover right here I got something on it by accident so I don't want to show you that nastiness but this is the dust bag that the wig came in and on the back it does have their social media handles which I love um and then inside just simple and sweet they gave me a pack of wig caps um nice pack of lashes they also hooked your girl up with an elastic band. Also, they did give me um, edge brush and a note that with their logo on it, and it just says Wiggins hair all over it. Don't want to talk your ear off. You guys can see how beautifully the hair is defined, but you can also kind of tell just how soft the hair is. I did try a new new mousse product. Um, I'm gonna try it one more time before I actually talk about it, but I will have it in the description box if you're interested in it. I love the little Michael Jackson curl and how it just, you know, does its own thing, but you guys can see how beautiful the curl is, the cut is, the lace is. This is absolutely a game changer. Game changer is absolutely a winner and I love it to life. So, of course, it's linked in the description box. Everything we use today is there. All the questions you may have about this wig and you know this that or the other all those questions will be answered in the description box and if you still have questions after you review the description box you can definitely leave me a comment in the comment sections and I will hook you up with the tea so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video or just rate it if you don't like it let me know that too as always I'll see you in the next one smooches